Hey YouTube, today I'm coming back to you with another video in my series of uh, tutorials for Stripe or at least quick tutorials on showing you how you can achieve amazing things using the tools that are under your fingertips such as Zapier, Stripe, Webflow, etc, etc. So today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and automatically create an automatic email responder that answers to a purchase. So that basically means when somebody buys something off you through Stripe using possibly a payment link, you can automatically send them whatever they have purchased uh, through our email. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing as you'll notice I have opened up here is my Stripe dashboard. Here I'm going to navigate in, uh, in the top of this my navigation back to products and I have a couple of products here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new product. So this is going to be our first step. So what I'm going to sell here is a bundle of images. I'm also going to give a description. Here's a bundle of uh, rare images that I am selling. Just to make this look a little bit better, I am also going to get some an image here. Here we go, just confirming my password real quick. It's going to upload this image and there you go. Just looks very professional. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a standard pricing and I'm going to give the price of $42 for this for this pack of bundle of images and then I'm going to give it a one time fee so people can purchase it once. I don't want to charge them month after month or week after week. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to save this product and that's going to appear in my products page here. The next thing I want to do is hit this button here on the right, create payment link. And that's going to automatically create a short and sweet form um, where people can go and pay for my product and then I will use Zapier in my second step to send them what they purchased. So um, I can also allow for promotional codes, I can ask customers address, etc, etc, but I don't need any of that. And then I want to replace my confirmation page with a custom message. Thanks for your purchase. I will automatically email you the purchased item. Uh, I don't know why I added a comma here. Let's remove it. Perfect. Just like that. And now I will go up here top right and I'm going to create a link. So when I hit that, it automatically creates a link for me. It's up here. And then I'm going to go to my second step. So the second step here is to go into Zapier and create a multi uh, zap or whatever this is called, where you have three steps. My first step is I want to trigger an event in Stripe. Then I want to do a webhook. And finally, I want to send an email. So let's see how we configure this. First of all, I chose Stripe as the app for this first zap. And the trigger event is uh, on a new event. With this which 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 is an instant event which means it will trigger automatically as soon as it happens on Zapier's side so i hit continue i select my stripe account and then i go here and set up a trigger the event type that i'm looking for is checkout session completed so as soon as someone purchases something from my checkout page that's been hosted uh, it will trigger this event and then if i go ahead and and trigger this it will give me some uh one of the payments that I've done previously. So I hit continue and then I go and set up my second uh, zap inside this chain of zaps. And this one is a webhooks by Zapier. You need to have a premium account for this. Of course, um, the action event is a get. And then let's see how we configure it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to paste this link here. I will have this in the description of this video. This is the checkout session uh, endpoint to which I have appended the data 
object ID. And then a little trick part here is I have to add as the third thing, a question mark with expand equals uh, line items and there's like open and closed bracket here so what is what this is going to do it's going to basically query the checkout endpoint it's going to pass on the data object id and then as a query string parameter it's going to say expand on line items and what line items uh, basically does it's going to give me a little bit more information about the item that um, has been purchased in uh, in by basically triggered in step one with a new event and then here on query string parameters i want to add yet again and this is might be a little bit tricky so be careful with this one i want to pass again expand open and close square brackets and then customer and what that's going to do it's going to expand as well as the line items is going to expand the customer so the reason i've done it half here and half here it's because this is how it works in zapier it's kind of like a hack then i basically set json as no and flood and yes and then here i am passing on my secret test key uh i see i say test because this is my test account but for you it's your secret key uh that you can find in your dashboard uh under api keys i have no headers because i'm passing a basic off here and then I can go ahead and then it will test successfully. And then the last part of this zap, which is super cool, is I want to basically send an email every time the above action happens. So I will go here, I select my account, and then here, basically I select the customer details. So this is here, it was under get, and it was like the number two customer email. And obviously this is going to be replaced with whatever customer email is sent by Stripe on purchase, right? And then I will send it from my email account and then I will send it from a name, which is Orly or, or Orlando or whatever. And then I'll say, thank you for your purchase. And then I will do an exclamation mark. I could also get uh, from this further information from the get zap maybe i want to pass on something else and then here i'll say hey customer name thank you for your recent purchase here's a link to download your resource and here i could put like https whatever the uh, download url is for for the item that the person has purchased as an example i'll just obviously put example.com and since, since i selected body type as html what i'm gonna do here is a href equals this and then i will say click here to download and close the tag and that should be enough for for this and then i will hit continue and then i review everything and then i will just say test and continue and then there you go text test was successful i'll turn this on up here in the top right hand corner and there you go done so now what i want to do in my third step is go back to my stripe page copy the payment link that was generated for me thanks stripe paste it into the browser this will now open the payment uh the checkout page for the item that i just created in step one of this tutorial let's put an example as myself i'm going to use the test card that stripe gives me uh, or gives anyone it's basically 42 42 42 which will automatically trigger a successful payment here all i have to do is provide some details uh, such as uh, any date in the future for the expiration date and any cvc and then name on the card i can put whatever example and then representing austin texas so 78701 and then all i gotta do is hit pay and what's going to happen is because I use the test card, the Stripe, there you go, automatically succeeds. And now what I'm expecting is opening Gmail. And I expect to get an email here in my, in my email inbox in a second. So as soon as Zapier sends me that email, it will appear here. So here we go. Here's the email. Thanks for your purchase. Hey, whatever example, that's right. That's the name that I provided at checkout. 
Thank you for your recent purchase. Here's a link to download your resource. And then here's a, a link to example.com. Um, and that's it. That's all it takes to automatically send emails to people who purchase things through your Stripe payment link using Zapier. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.